Friends, it's the TTRS. I'm genuinely looking forward to this. I already know there's a TT in the game. There's, there's definitely a TT in the game. I'm not just... Anyway, it looks cooler without a plate. Most... I'm going to say most German cars look better with a plate. So when people remove them, it looks stupid. Anyway, we're going to be checking this thing out. It's going to... I think it's going to be sick. I love the platform. I think it's awesome. I hate that they killed it. It's good customization, I hope. We're going to find out. Let's go for a quick uh, whir whir around the road. Pull top. Wait, wait, wait. I need more noise. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a drive around the corner, as I was saying. Cheeky bit of all-wheel drive. Genuinely, I, I, I like these a lot. The TTRS, I think it's a fantastic car. And I think it's probably the best of Audi, other than the R8, obviously. But it's cool. It's something that's just not designed for the babo- I mean, it is. Audi's hard. <laughs> it's like a mini R8. I would never complain about it. It just the interior, actually. I, I, I can't say I've looked at a new one recently, but from the from my knowledge, it kind of looks like the same interior of the R8. I like it. It's a mini one. It's got half the cylinders, and that's freaking cool. It's all-wheel drive. Is it TTRS or RS3? I'm I'm definitely gonna say TT. I, I hate the RS3. I think it's stupid. I know you're like, what the frick? I just. I'm bored of hatchbacks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's jump into the customization then, shall we? Let's have a quick look. We're just gonna dive right into it. And then we're gonna check it out with you guys. You guys can throw some cars against it. Maybe we can put an RS3 against it. Have a little bit of a play. Now, engine swaps wise, what can we put in here? I'm super interested. Probably not gonna change it. Turbo rally and wait, okay. Why can we 2J literally everything in this game? <laughs> I really don't understand. I think this actually sounds more accurate, better than the actual 2J sound they've got in there. So uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this boy in here. In fact, can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll just upgrade turb skis and that and that. We'll do all the upgrades that is possible. And then obviously go to the visual customization. More fan of the RS6. You can't compare the RS6 to the TT. The RS6 costs double the the money. <laughs> It, it, no, if if you were comparing it like for like, what I would say is that you compare this to the hatchback equivalent, which would be the RS3. I'm talking the hatchback, not the stupid four, four door thing. Okay, you, you know what I mean. But <laughs> the, the sedan, the sedan is silly. The sedan of the RS3 should not exist. It doesn't make any sense. It's a cool car, but it don't make no damn sense. Put on some slick racing tires put on some uh, thick tires again anything that's like small all-wheel drive is up my street this is just I, I i adore it i would genuinely have considered buying one um if they actually updated it they kind of didn't it, it just you know those audis that just keep the old stuff i think it's a german car thing they just don't bother updating it and then they go oh dead, dead. Whoa! oh i like that that's just the Audi Sport from Bumper. That just that looks pretty sick, if you ask me. Uh, then we've got the rear. Actually, let me just put that on. What am I doing? Put that on right there. Put it on, boy. I can, I'm gonna say the Forza Wing looks a little bit different here. It's it, it's hitting different, if you will. But I'm gonna say no. We're going for the TT Wing, because why the heck not? We uh, put the bumper on. Yeah, yeah, we're going for that one right there. We have got the side skirts. Very nice Audi Sport. What can we do for the hood? Um. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. Fine. So what is the glitch then? Go on. Tell me. Chat. If you're telling me. Put the stock front bumper. Are you... Are you... Ro you're a wrong -un. You're... Oh! <laughs> oh, now I see what you mean. Right. That makes sense. So it, it removes the bumper. Now, people are calling this like a bumper delay. Like, oh my god, you can delete the bumper. It's clearly a glitch. <laughs> it's clearly broken. I don't understand how, when you have three customization parts at best, you miss an issue like this. Uh, th there's just nothing there. The car should still have, like, big metal piece. Probably paint color right there. That's very odd. That's not, that's not feature. <laughs> that's, that's just brokey, okay? 
is brokey. I'm not doing that. I think it looks horrendous. But uh, we're gonna try it. <laughs> the cro is it? It's not even chrome. It's worse than chrome. It's like silver parts at the front. Like maybe one day we'll get to the point where we can actually have proper bumper deletes. But will the manufacturers ever do that? Uh, I'm gonna be like that. I don't think they ever will. The manufacturers will be like, no. How dare you? How will what happen if people crash in game? Uh, they will die. Where's the? Uh <laughs> Did you electric swap? Oi, he's right here, baby. Works as well as the bumper. Okay, yeah, to be fair, it's the exact same as the bumper deleting need for speed, which also looks pretty nah. Front reflectors are broken. I see them stupid things. I hate front reflectors. Oh, oh, I see. There's, there's a reflector missing here and there's one on this side. I don't, is it actually missing? It, it, it's properly missing. What is th this? is really odd. I don't <laughs> but no, I think the front reflectors, that's only an American thing. I don't think it's a thing in, in Europe, but it's not a thing here. We don't have to have those stupid side reflectors and it looks so much better. So much better. So most, one of the most popular designs is gray. Great. Uh, that's very Audi, <laughs> but I ain't doing that. I'm gonna do it myself. I can do it. We'll make it. I, I kind of like this blue. If I'm totally honest, the blue looks super sick and I almost don't want to change it. But we could go for a nice bright blue, which may be a little bit better. Is it, nah, I don't. I, I prefer this one, to be honest with you. And then we're going to change the wheels and I'm going to make them. I'm not making them black. Should I make them silver? <laughs> yeah. I ain't talking about that stupid chromey silver. That'll do. Right. I don't know about you, but for, for some reason, this car model actually looks really, really good. There's just something, something about it. It's super sharp. What's what's the other Audi we have? What's well, the other TT, should I say, we have in the game? I'm really curious. Let's look at the Audis. Uh, where is the other TT? So there it is. It's a 2010 RS Coupe. Content Theo. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Absolute legend. Thank you so much, James. Much appreciated. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So this is the other TT. I know they usually use the old one as a base. It's, it makes sense. Like that's how, how game development works. But like, when was this added to the game? Was it like Forza Motorsport 5? Probably in Forza Motorsport 4. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, what I'm going to say is the majority of cars that end up being added, we can actually see the rear a little bit more now. That's what's there. It, it's, a it's a little bit odd. But a lot of them end up being kind of remakes based upon those cars. This one feels like it could have been mostly ground up compared to like the FXXK and a bunch of the other cars we've had recently. This actually feels like they they possibly could have just redone it. I don't know, it's pretty sick. What's the license plate hanging on to? It's like, it's hanging on by my hopes and dreams. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing tested then. We need you guys. Is this man made of golf? M3 GTR? Holy poo, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Okay, so our first event, we've got a Corvette. <laughs> uh, Celica, what am I? So, oh, TTRS is the old model. That's super interesting. They have a better car. Are they, are they using an engine swap? I don't know. Here we go. <sighs> Give it the beans. Nice all wheel drive launch. I've not touched the gearing whatsoever. That actually may be a bad idea. Mate. Big old, old granddad Audi RS4 is in the bin. I'm under staring off the crazy Audi. We got the Celica with the 2J there. I can already tell. Oh, it's just a cloud of smoke. That's all I can see. But genuinely, I really, really did consider this car. I think it's fantastic. It's considering it's becoming less rare now, but it was pretty rare for a while. Wait, is that an R8? <laughs> There's an R8 in the race. I've only just realized, but it's getting pretty rare to have vehicles like this shape. Small, little, sporty, kind of coupe. I, I even know how to describe this thing. It's just an odd shape that's just not really existent anymore. And finally, now we're getting back to the Supras and the 400Zs and things like that. And that makes me really happy, but the TT's dying, so that kind of makes me sad. Rest in peace, TT. Best, best Audi. Mate, <gasps> he's in the bin. This is absolute chaos. Under steering. Everyone is under steering. <laughs> Everyone's got major, major problems going on. Except, mate, that R8 is purposely drifting. You move out the way, you big yellow banana. Thank you very much. 
Bit of understeer into the railing. Bumper delete. It's not helping. It's not helping. Need to try and squeeze past. Oh, that, that's poo poo farting. I think it's a pretty good sound. I think they've done a decent job with the sound of this thing. It, it does have a bit more of a like diesel-y grumbly noise, I personally think. But it's they've done a pretty decent job. Here's where people tell me, oh yeah, mate, it's got the same sound as the RS3. Shh, shh. It sounds good. Don't matter. Also, hey, that's pretty good. I'm impressed with myself there. Did I put a roll cage in there? No, I didn't. But I would recommend if you have a convertible one. Uh, yes, do that. Look at that. Look at that. That's genuinely really, really impressed me. It kept up with the, the, the V8, V, sorry, V10. <laughs> oh, I guess it is the same class, but that's pretty cool. Though part of me does obviously want to swap the 2J in it. We kind of need to try, but we, we're going full Audi. It's pretty sick. Whoosh. That's me. That's me doing the noise. All those whoosh sound effects, that's just me doing it. Anyway, we're going to swap the engine. This pains me a little bit, but straight away, even without putting any upgrades on it, the speed and handling and everything, okay, that, that's those two things alone, go up. Right? They go up. So that's pretty cool. So then we're going to slap on all the upgrades that are available. Where can we get with this maxed out titty? Oh my God, I said, the, I said it. I see it. Banned from YouTube now. <laughs> so we're rocking up to uh 957 with 1200 horsepower again this, this is like i swear every car has had a 2j swap recently every single single one of them <laughs> we still got the r8 we got two r8s <gasps> both of them three we got three r8s i can't count all of them are weaker than my tt tt power r8 in the bin r oh that's a nice clean cream tt Whoa! <laughs> Look at Cobra go! Mate, Techno flying away. I'm gonna run out of gears, I know for a fact. I didn't even touch them, but I even need to. Is this a beast of a car or what? Holy crap! <laughs> Do you know what? That. That is pretty damn sick. Oh my god, wait. He's S1? The winner is S1. That's that's mega OP. There's no, there's no way. Oh, drag tires. Drag tires. I was going to say, there's, there's no <laughs> there's no freaking way, man. The game states that this can do 270. I, I fully believe it. It's got a 2J in it, but we got we got to actually test it out. So let's give this a go. <laughs> I love this thing. 1200 horsepower in all wheel drive. Here we go. We got a big old R8 next to us. This man's. Oi! That's not the. Yeah, you pushed me off the door. Absolute legend. Thank you so much, Corey, for the super chat. I appreciate you. Let's get it. I've done a little bit of tuning to the speed just to see if we can get a little bit more out of it. It says 27. What is it? 271.4 or something like that. And genuinely, mate. Oh! Maybe doing pretty easy. I think we can get maybe a little bit more. Oh, you stupid beta! Excuse me. Let's go. I'm running out. Of, I'm running out. Of, I'm running out of gear. 270, 271. It's pretty sick. It's pretty spicy. Genuinely, I've, I've kind of fallen in love with this car. How much are they? <laughs> Should we go on auto trade down? I'm um, oh, at these Beatles, I swear. Mate, this is so, are we just going to end up every single one of these car builds? Are we just going to end up end up 2J swapping literally everything? I think that might be the case. Who hired one of the community members to do the engine swaps? <laughs> one of you guys is doing this. I know for a fact. So yes, the light bar is very, very cool. I like the German cars have done that and everyone else has stolen it. I'm happy with that. What the hell just happened? What? <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> this is my auto trader settings. Minimum engine, five liter. That's definitely me. 
2016 is about 38 grand. More than an RCF. An RCF, at least the last time I checked, was like just above 30K and that's gone up. That's where the debate comes in. Like, yeah. But it's all wheel drive and it's a five cylinder and it's very tunable, better than an RS3. Let's not tell that to the RS3 boys. We need to we need to say something for the people that skip to the end of the video so they don't go and not and not buy in all the uh, the teeth. Oh, it's so bad. RS3 better. Fam, in it blood. <laughs>